try to find a good one. And this one's the one that was the best. Oh, that's so sorry. It's good? I think that's the only one you're good at. Good? It's so easy. <laughs> Massaging your spine. Mm -hmm. Even though there's no muscle there at all. What? There's no muscle on your spine. It's like impossible to have a soft <gasps> spine. I quit. <sighs> How do you like my new shoes? How do you like them? I was there when you bought them. And you didn't say it. Yes, I did. What? I said I liked them. There's, I don't even feel like I'm wearing shoes. I love it. Hey everyone, this is Ryan and Alexis, and today we're going to talk about how we met. So... About two weeks before we met, I was like, should I go to camp in San Francisco? And I did. So I went and I saw Alexis on the first day. Alexis? Um, yeah, I drove to camp and, you know, drove up and got out of my car and was checking everything in. And then I had to go up to the dorms where Ryan was sitting and one of the counselors was like, hey, what's your name? And I was like, oh, hi, I'm Alexis. And then she goes, well, this is Ryan. And I was like, oh, my God, he's so cute. And, yeah, had an immediate crush on him. And? And what? Didn't know I was trans. Yeah, I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea. Totally clueless. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Ryan. I'm now six months post-op. I had surgery with Dr. Brownstein in San Francisco, California. I had the double incision procedure with nipple grafts. The pocket right here is gone. Everything looks great. I'm very happy with how things are. And now here is a slideshow video of the progress. The 
funny thing was, they took the nipples off, they resize them, scale them down. The skin must have had to come off, right? The, like the scabbing part of it or whatever. Oh, okay. So I get this panic phone call at work. My nipples are falling off. <laughs> How many mothers get that phone call? <laughs> Not too many. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a horror movie. I said, what's wrong? I took the bandages off and 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 the nipples are on the bandages. Said, are you sure? Yeah, I said it's probably just the dead skin that had to come off. No, now they they're off. I'm so glad that that's over. That was such a battle with the father didn't want it and it was a, a long battle. So many tears. So many tears with that. Now Ryan's father is much more mm -hmm. accepting. Good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Our next uh, musical guest. Um, it's really, it's an amazing situation because, first of all, um, this person is from Long Island, which is an awesome thing. The second thing is, is that they are a trans man, which is really wonderful. And I know he's gone on tour and uh, cut a couple of records and everything else. At this moment, I'd like to bring up Brian Casada. a new song, and I wrote it for my girlfriend. We just celebrated our year anniversary a couple days ago. It's called Daydream. When the sun hits your face Before your makeup And last night Couldn't have been better We danced beneath the sheets Your lips are sweet We're living In a daydream Spread your wings And fly The stars twinkle for you. Sing, meet us, sleep in our beautiful dream. Intermission, they're only ten dollars. Thank you so much. How do you follow that? <laughs> Driver's seat of my vehicle. Why? I don't know. You drove my car. I did not drive your car. It's been in the same spot. No, it hasn't. I did not drive your car. Well, you at least went in my car, did you? Yeah, I wasn't in your car. I didn't drive it. Why were you in my car? Oh, you're cool. I can't drive That's your so car. Cool. It's illegal. I knew it's someone drove my car. I told you that. And now I want $20. For what? For the gas that is gone. For sitting in your car. 
Did you turn my car on? I turned the engine on and shut it off. Ma, if you leave your engine running, doesn't that waste the gas? Yeah. Yes, right? So give me money for that. Frank, did you drive this one? All right, I drove your car to New Jersey and came back. That's it. What? <laughs> this whole situation could have been avoided if you didn't leave evidence behind. But I knew it. I demand a refund. So, well, it's like a, a whirlwind of things happening because it first started with Ryan coming out as being transgender. So he's the middle child. Yeah. Right? So you have three boys you yeah. have. Mm -hmm. Always like a tomboy. So I was just assumed the kid is gay until he met someone that was transgender and then he realized that's what I am. So he came out as being transgender. And that took me, I'm going to say a good month. So I had to now it's call, a whole process. Right, it's a grieving call, process. Right. Call my child by a different name, different pronouns. How old is Ryan? Now Ryan's 18. Yeah, so I think maybe he was 12 at that point. But then somehow we got involved with being on Larry King. So we were on Larry King. Well you really yeah, you can oh look it up God. on YouTube and watch it. And from being on Larry King, one thing rolled into another. He's a very good musician. So as time went on, he just became a little bit more popular, a little bit more popular. And now the transgender community, he's kind of like a celebrity. How does that, like, what do they do? Do they give him testosterone shots? Um, oh, as hormone therapy? Yeah. yeah. He's not doing anything with that. And he's not having any bottom surgery. Really? Um, some people do, some people don't. Right. Because it's really not perfected. Sometimes things mm -hmm. don't go the right way, mm -hmm. and then you'll need, um, you know, how, how will you go even go to the bathroom? It could be a problem You're if something sure. goes wrong. Right, right. So he's waiting on that. Oh, this is cute, I right? I told you this was going to look so good on you. I the love colors the colors. Good, right? I love these pants with it. Just don't, just don't go. Dreaming about bringing you a rose. I'll be outside. 
inside of your office in my finest clothes. When I wake up, I'm where the sun don't set. When every day it's hard to say how long till we kiss again. New York to California, New York so hard to stay. New York to California, New York to you one day. Well, someday I'll be leaving, some days not far away. New York to California, today will be that day. They're paying for my flight, that's it. I mean, honestly, like, that's pretty good. this festival is so important. Like, I would have paid my own flight. So, because it's like... It's the biggest one, right? This, yeah, this, like, and I'm playing on the main stage at, like, a pretty decent time, so I'm gonna, like, be exposed to so many people, thousands of people. And what time are you I'm playing at 12.30, and I'm gonna be... That's a good time. That's why it's really important. Once you mention you played like the main stage, the San Francisco Pride, everyone's gonna jump on you. And what about Alexis? It's hard with long distance relationship. It's kind of different. Every time we see each other, it's like you fall in love again. You know, yeah. instead of just, which is better in some ways, but it's like. But then you, it's like, but every time you leave each other, it's like you, it's like you break up almost. What? Do you want just a mustache or what do you want? Yeah. You look like a little French boy. What kind of mustache did you... Don't even tell me you drew a curly one. <laughs> no, I didn't. Did you? No! Wow, I look stupid. You look older. <laughs> Ew, my nose looks so big. You look older than me. It looks like Mario Brothers. <laughs> Perfect. And it's really tickling me. I think people would stare at it and say, what the heck is stuck on that kid's face? Why? Because facial hair that's attached just doesn't look good. Should I make it littler? Yeah, you got a mirror. Go look. Mom, why is it so long? Can you make it shorter? <laughs> that does look more real, doesn't it? But if you look close, you could see that tape, right? Yes, it did not grow out of your face. So of course you're going to see the tape.
hope you don't swallow that thing. Frank, what do you think of it? What? Ryan's beard. It's not a beard. To go feel like it. I can see your boobs. It's illegal. <laughs> hey! What? Who the hell is that? Who are you texting? No one. Tell me. You're kind of mad. Quinn? Why? He had just asked me if I remembered to pick up blank CDs, and I said no, I didn't. What? He texts you late at night. It's 10 here. Hmm, I don't like it. He has a crush on you. I know it, Alexis. You know when you could just tell? I tell. Do you think I'm just gonna get with every guy who passes me on the street? If he ever tries anything, I will come out there with somebody big. Stop being I'm not, I'm just jealous. If I wasn't jealous, then there'd be a problem. I looked it up, I watched every YouTube video on jealousy of clinical therapists talking about it. And they said if you're not jealous, that means you don't like them. Yeah, I know. It's healthy jealous. If he had a vagina, you wouldn't be a threat. I swear. Why? Because he's born a man and I'm not. Yes. He could total me. You know I don't like meters. <laughs> You're right. Ew, remove your armpits. You mean show you my armpits? Bye. Beards, mustaches, and sideburns. Or something that's a maybe. I'm gonna ask how much others people's are. Let me see what a beard looks like on someone. That's one day after, and that's eight months after. It's a bloody mess at first, and I heard it really hurts. Damn. This is awesome, Mom. Uh, it usually takes about 4 to 15 hours. They do body hair, chest hair. I could get some belly button hair. Can I? <laughs> um, it costs like $5,000. Too much? That's way too much for that, Ryan. Right?
Will you all be marching? Yeah? Okay, yeah. can I march with you? Yeah. Cool. Come on. Yeah. Mommy, maybe block it this. Let's go. Is it starting? Oh, great. This is awesome. San Francisco Pride, I'll be playing the main stage. I'm an extremely driven person. I always have been since a young age, and I focus on my goal, and since I focus on my goal, I'm able to reach my dreams. Right now, I'm living my dream, and I really feel, you know, that way, and it feels great. That's awesome. Hey, um, I'm walking in front of the center now. Do you see me? Oh, I see you. I see you. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How was the trip? Good. <laughs> did you get taller? <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> are you happy? <laughs> Your hair got long. <laughs> Hello, San Francisco and happy pride. My name is Ryan Casada. I'm an 18 year old transgender man from New York. All right, let me restart. No, please don't. Hello, San Francisco. Come on, <laughs> Come on here. And happy pride. I'm kick you. I must put an end to this inner community hate. What should we put an end to? <laughs> we need to become one with each other before we could expect the rest of society to become one with us. Why are you staring at me? And in the words of my I'm hero, Harvey like Milk. Five more times. I don't want to hear it again right now. <laughs> the transgender community cannot do it alone. <laughs> suggest this one just because this is hard and it's gonna like uncomfortable you, right well not even that it's just gonna make you walk kind of funny oh wow well, this feels so much better than mine and it warms just up even it. if you put it like out it doesn't have to be totally against you <laughs> even if, well then it's even more real yeah that's why I, and it just it's comfier uh, it is it's pretty standard size, yeah, I'd feel. Down, but... It's not like it's a 
Oh, it's only ten four inch, inch soft dick, so don't worry about and it. And it stretches. Yeah. No, I don't want it bigger, trust me. I okay, know, I'm saying, like, it's okay. bendable, okay. it's flexible. Okay, let's get this one. Have a beautiful day. You too. Thank you. you too. Thank you. Thank you. Caleb, is it weird now you know what my dick looks like? <laughs> uh -huh. Put my suspenders on. <gasps> Quinn. Why, Quinn? I don't know. He texted me. Oh, my God. Ryan, stop. I'm going to hit you. Why are you always texting him? Always. You used to text me a lot. Turn around. And I noticed you stopped texting me a lot and you're because you're probably texting him. Right? Exactly. <sighs> What are you talking about with him? I don't know. He just texted me. I don't even know what it said. Tell him we're going out. Or just don't answer, okay? Whatever you say. Well, just why does he always text you? I don't know. I'll, you want me to ask him? No. He likes you. Just doesn't make sense to me at all. What? I'm not mad at you. What? Do you have something to tell me? What? Do you think he likes you? How am I supposed to know? It's not, what can I do about it? I know, but if, if, I don't know, if you think that he's got a crush on you or something, it would at least make me feel a little better. There's no reason to let this ruin our entire night. It's only 8.30. You're all dressed up and we're both hungry. Come on. Hey, can hey. I uh, order something? Sure, what would you like? Can I have the cheese platter and the cream of asparagus soup? Cheese platter and a cream of asparagus? Yep. Yeah. Okay, we should go down there. Alexis? Are you coming? No? You're not coming. Why? Why are you not coming? Hello? Talk to me. Okay, whatever.
Hello. I want you to go. I've been talking about it for months that I want you to go. And then you, it's like you don't want to. I'm not going to force you to do something that you don't want to do. That's a little ridiculous. And I can't, I can't wait around. Like I said, I, I have places to be. I can't just wait. Why don't you get on the BART or get on a taxi and come? I don't, I'm not gonna sit there and beg you to come. That's not fair to me. I'm not letting my mood get destroyed. Today's one of the biggest days of my life. And I need to be in check. I need to stay positive. I can't let myself get down. Well, whatever. Fuck her, honestly.
just had a very rough night. Um, Alexis and I have been dealing with a lot of stress because of her parents. Um, her dad totally does not accept the fact that I'm transgender and that she's dating me. Um, and tonight he left a, a very angry voicemail on her phone. He called me an it, he, she, um, basically I think he just wants to kill me and we, so we went to the police and, you know, we sat there for a while and finally some officers talked to us and they took my ID and they put a 2729 against me. I heard them say that in their little walkie talkies. 27 means attempted crime and 29 means death her dad is threatening me there's an age gap between Alexis and I and she's 16 and I'm 18 and that is a problem because in California it's illegal for an 18 year old to date a 16 year old she's gone they they took her in the police car and took her to her house and f to figure out what's going on and her her mom just took her here to pick up all her stuff man this is, this is what real life is it's pretty scary um scary that someone out there wants to kill me I'm gonna double lock the door Fran, there's a phone call for you. Five more hours. Okay. Good. You, are you going to the airport now? Yeah, go, go to the airport where there's a lot of people, you know? It's, you have to get out of that little town before you get arrested. You don't know what, the man can make anything up, you know? He can say, oh, my daughter said, blah, 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 blah. You, you understand what I mean? And they're gonna, they're gonna take his word over yours. You know that, right? All right, good luck. Sorry this is happening. Sorry. Bye. This kid's gonna give me a heart attack, is what I think. Which one? Ryan. What's the matter? The girlfriend's father is making death threats. He has to get on a plane right now and come home. I feel so helpless. I'm so far right. away. And I'm, right. I'm annoyed. Right. He should have never went to the police. It was a big mistake. Now the father's probably angrier that now he has this on police record. It's just going to escalate. Mm -hmm. He should have just let him make his nasty, th drunken threats right. and ignore it. Mm -hmm. right. They should have pretended that they didn't even hear them. Just because you can't talk to each other and be with each other does not mean that the love is going to stop. So, I don't know what the father is thinking. The fool.
Hey, dude. Yeah, the music will comfort you. And it's okay. times like this, my good friend, that give birth to the most interesting music. Yeah. Yeah. When, when life is going true. too well, your music can become shit. <laughs> <laughs> you need drama and turmoil and passion and sadness and anger and rage to be an artist. So this is all, this is all good. Read any of the books, it's all there. Whether it's Jim Morrison, Mark Bowen, any of the people that you dig, you know? Yeah. It's all in there, so you need this, this is all. This is all necessary. received a lot of questions, so we're going to answer as many as possible. Were you a lesbian or bi before? Yes. What? Yes! <laughs> what? Babe, before you met me, <laughs> before you met me, were you a lesbian or bi? Bi. And now what are you? Ryan sexual. Good. <laughs> She texted me and said, we need to take a break. All of this is too much right now, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I love you, but I can't do this right now or whatever, you know? So I don't even know like what I should do, you know? She dumped me on Facebook. Oh shit, she's calling me. I'm gonna answer. Bye. Hello? Hey. It's 
so what does all this mean? Oh shit. Oh shit. Do you think we're not gonna see each other for a while? I wanna be your boyfriend. I know, it's a it's a lot to deal with, I know. I I can't even imagine like how stressed out you must be. I want to tough it out with you. I don't think we should break up because of this. I want to, you know, stand by you and help you. And, yeah, there's a big possibility that I'm not going to see you for another year and four months because of your parents. But, I mean, I know it's going to be really hard, but, I mean, I, I will wait. If, like, if you feel comfortable enough, I think you should come live with my family because, you know, my parents will really, you know, respect you and give you, like, everything that you need, you know, food, clothes and everything. And and just, like, it's someone, I mean, my parents are proud of you, you know, and I think you need that. Okay. All right. Goodbye. Hello? Why are you not hanging up? All right. Well, I love you. same situation. But not because my boyfriend was transgender, it was because he was black. Really? You know how you have everything set up in your room? Yeah. I used to have everything set up in my room and he destroyed everything. Like a clean sweep of across everything. <laughs> yep. I ran out of the house. I literally ran out of the house. With nothing. Because I was afraid that he was gonna kill me. After that, I never got along with my parents again. I was 13. Never again. Oh well. Live and learn. <laughs> Wait, put it down, put it down. I allow Alexis Borsky, my daughter, to stay with Fran Casada. <laughs> and I wrote, thank you, our kids will appreciate this. A hug and a kiss. She's a very nice lady. She's just in a very bad spot with that man. You and I can have a house. You and I and no one else, it's true.
What? She texted me and said you can call me now, even though wow. I've called her. So why would she call you? Do you want me to leave? try and work things out because I really don't know if I want to come home and actually live there again I don't know if I can do that but the thing is I wasn't I didn't move out just because I was like oh you guys are stupid I'm gonna move out, it was because of everything that dad did. You know, just because he found out that I was dating Ryan, he said that I was no longer considered his daughter. And it's like, I don't know how you expect me to just forget that that happened. How do you know what I need? Well, you too. Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay. Want me to beat anybody up? What? Why are you laughing? What do you smile? <laughs> I'll get stronger. Mm -hmm. I'll get stronger. Lady Gaga said, right? What? You heard what Lady Gaga said. What? What? You know, you know, like Michael Jackson said, take a look in the mirror, it's time to change your ways. Yeah. What Lady Gaga said? I was born this way. <laughs> what? Uh-huh. Fall in love. Grab it. Run with it. Run with it. Be like Tarzan and Jane in the jungle. Right now we're still young, like we're we have parents, you know, on our backs a lot. When you're young, it's just more difficult to to make your own decisions. I'm very dependent on my parents still. Well, you can make it all that way. I'm trying. It's gonna take a while. No, it's not. We don't need that much money. It's not like we've got kids, pets, and a house. All we really have to do is make sure that we have a shelter and food. everyone. Hello. We're going to be moving to San Francisco. We're going to uh, pack up the car with what little things I have and a lot of Ryan's crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
going to be going to school at San Francisco State University, and Alexis is going to try to find a job. Um, we're just trying to work out all the details right now, but we've made the decision that we're going to gonna do it. Once we're out of like this, we're pretty safe. Well, I mean, we're even avoiding all yeah. of this because we're going from there. We'd go to Chicago and then from Chicago to Minnesota, which is totally safe. Or at least Minneapolis is. Just like it's Wyoming, Nebraska, Montana. That's just like dangerous for trans. We're not going through Montana. Let me just Google. Nebraska's where Brandon and Tina got killed. You know, if you don't want to go to Wyoming, what we could do is go from Minneapolis to the border, along the border of South Dakota, and then drive through Wyoming in one day and end up in Utah, which is safe. Mm -hmm. Stay in Utah. You could go Utah to somewhere in like Reno, Nevada, and then go from Reno to San Francisco. <laughs> I've been playing at the Spoon Cafe since I was 14 years old, and I am going away to college on Saturday in San Francisco. And my mom and I are really close, so I wrote this song for my mom. And it doesn't really have a name yet, but I'm going to play it. I'm moving to San Francisco, gonna follow my heroes, gonna watch the sun come down as I shout from the podium. This is me saying goodbye. Hey, mom, watch me fly. I'm gonna change the world someday. Your little boy is joining the race. And don't you worry, mom. I'll be doing just fine. You won't have to miss me. You'll see me on TV. I'm gonna make you proud of me. Following my dreams. And don't you worry, Mom, I'll be doing just fine. You won't have to miss me, you'll see me on TV. Thank you, my name is Ryan Quesada. You can find me on iTunes. Thank you, Corey McNeil. It's me and you. Well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep it wrapped up like that. Okay? 
you get to your room. Well, you know in the movie when they say goodbye? Yeah. I'm gonna miss you most of all. <laughs> I cried every time when I was really? a kid. Really? Yeah. Why? Oh my god, that's the worst goodbye ever. Why? When Dorothy says goodbye to the scarecrow? Yeah. It's the worst. Uh. <laughs> that's you and that's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's best if you have them. So every time you look at them, you have to set them up in your room when you see them. Good. I would just wait out here for a little while. Well, for you, because I don't, I mean, I, I don't know what's going on, but there was a motion in the kitchen. So I would just wait. If I were you, and I can go in if you want, I'm not stopping you, I'm just warning you. I'll take your suggestion. Yeah, I'm good I, I believe you. Sounds <laughs> good. We'll be here. Are you guys all packed? Uh, not 100%, but the car is pretty full. It's hard to imagine all of your stuff. I didn't now. have a lot. Okay. Sorry, I'm totally spacing out. You're See what? That. Spacing out.
I'm against the fear It's a quarter after five We cry through the night Are you thinking about me? I got my mind wrapped around you like a car on a tree. Oh, Alexis, no, I've been no. staying up nightly, thinking about the miles and what they'll do to me. Quicker than you could scream. 